just want to look at vectors in some 2D and 3D shapes on based on what you already know about them and how you're adding them together graphically. So what I have here is a parallelogram called ABCD. And you can see that I've called the vector from AB, so I can say the vector from A to B is equal to, and I've just called that vector U. And you can also see that the vector from B to C, I've called that V. Now, there is a bunch of other stuff that we can now define based on those two things. So, for instance, if I was to say to you, what is the vector AD? So, question mark, what is the vector AD? Well, the vector AD, so the line from there to there, has the same direction and the same magnitude as vector V. So, actually, that is the same as as that, even though they're in different places, because remember vectors, they don't care what place they're in. We just need the direction and the magnitude. So we can say that AD is V. Now, what about D to A? All right, so looking at D to A, that's a vector that's moving from here to here. It has the same magnitude as V, but it has an opposite direction. So we can say that d to a is negative v. And we could do the same with u by talking about cd or dc. Okay. Now the other thing that I want to look at in this is looking at the vector. Well, what's ac? Okay. So let's look at ac. It starts from here and it goes all the way through there. Well, A to C is starts at the um, tail of U and then joins the um, tail of V to the head of U. So it's actually U plus V. If you were to walk along U and walk along V, it would be the same as walking from A to C. So we can say that the vector A to C is equal to U plus V. Now, what about the vector C to A? How could I walk from C to A? Well, obviously I've got to do this whole thing in reverse. So if I were to take V and flip it upside down, I'd have negative V. That's negative V, in that, if it's going in that direction. And if I were to take u now and add it to that, well, if I were to take u and add it to that, I'd end up over here, because that's u in that direction. But if I were to take negative u moving in the other direction, now I'm in business. So I can say that c to a is negative v plus negative u. Or just get rid of that plus and say it's negative v, negative u. Uh, all right, so there's a parallelogram, but I said we were going to do 2D and 3D shapes. So vectors don't only have to exist in two dimensions. Three dimensions is where we'll use vectors a lot. Here's a cube, um, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Now, if we were to uh, find the vector uh, P, V, oops, forgot to draw my vectors in. So that's vector A, that's vector B, and that's vector C up here. So the vector from P to V across the, the bottom of this cube, or rectangle, rectangular prism maybe, is vector A plus vector B. Now we can start moving into that three-dimensional stuff and saying, well, what about from uh, P to W? From these, this front corner to this back corner here, right through the, the middle of the, the rectangular prism. Well, if we take A, if we, if we were to travel along A, and then travel along B, and then travel along C, because remember that's C, so that's also C, it's just going to be A plus B plus C. Okay, so now, what if I were to go um, S to Q? 
So to travel from S to Q, I would have to travel the backwards of C, all right, so negative C, and I would also have to travel along A in the positive direction. Now, a way of thinking about that would be of uh, going along A this way, and then negative C. So we can say that it's A negative C, A minus C. And we can we can do this in all, all manner of ways. Let's go from W to, uh, let's say, from W to P. Uh, that's all negatives. From W to P would be all negatives. Negative C, negative B, negative A. Uh, let's go from W to U. From W to U, uh, it's... It's the same no matter which sort of trail I move along. But if I move along here, I'd have to go negative C, negative A. Negative C, negative A. All right, hopefully you can see all of that. You've got to see it in three dimensions. Uh, that's vectors within these 2 and 3D shapes being able to talk about paths from, uh, from one point to another.